I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. That or a calcum sure is spooky stuff. Spooky? Haven't you learned anything? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Why should he help us? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. I'd rather think my way through. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. I like to think. Okay, if that's how you feel, you're on your own. Good luck. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. Thank you.
Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Oh, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. What can you tell me about Atlantis? Oh, that depends. To prove you're worth dealing with, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? An error of geometry. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. Just a moment, monsieur. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. To prove you're worth dealing with, Answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? In the last days of Atlantis. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. Over here, monsieur Trottier. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha! My reputation precedes me. To prove you're worth dealing with, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? An error of translation. Yes! Excellent! Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. It's the main entrance to the hotel. I better not go in. The wrong people might be waiting for me. It says, A. Trottier, Truly Old Antiques. Driver to the airport. He looks pretty well fed for a beggar. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis? Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Do you know where Omar Al-Jabbar lives? Omar is one of my best customers. Alas, his address is known to few men. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Now, let me get back to work, please.
There's nothing to look at. There's nothing to look at. It all looks pretty worthless. Excuse me. How can I help you with Indy? Are you Omar? You mean Mr. Aljabar? <laughs> that is an also good one, Effendi. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. I'm looking for Atlantis. Good luck. How much are those pots? If you must ask, you can't afford them. Nice place you have here. Thank you, Effendi. Excuse me. What is it now? Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Aljabar? I suppose I could, Effendi, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? It's a matter of life and death. That's what they all say. You'll have to give me a better reason than that. Excuse me. What is it now? I'd like to see Al Jabbar now. As I explained, you need to give me a reason to trouble my master. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Ah, the business card, Monsieur Trottier. That's different. Perhaps Mr. Al Jabbar will desire to speak with you. Wait here until I get back. Hey, where'd he go?
Excuse me. Hmm? Hello. Goodbye. Salam, Fendi. Think happy thought. Excuse me. What is it now? Could you go see Mr. Al Jabbar again? Well, now, since you have contacts among antiquities dealers, I guess I could see if he is available. Wait here until I get back. Yeah, da da. Just a moment, please. Hmm. Nice fez. Why, thank you. Are you here for the festival? No, but that's quite a hat. Do you like it? How much do you want for it? Sorry, but my beloved Fez is not for sale at any price. Salama, Fendi. Think happy thoughts. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Hello there. Back again, eh? How's business? I've seen worse. Now, let me get back to work, please. Just a moment, please. Hum -de dum Hmm? Nice fez. Do you like it?
Not particularly. Each to his own taste, my friend. Salam, Fendi. It's kind of garish. That's true, it is. Salam, Fendi. That's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh my, yes. Why does it attract you? It's kind of festive. Aha, you observe closely, my friend. With a fez, one becomes truly festive. Undoubtedly, you feel envy, no? I am a little frustrated. I can see that. You torture yourself trying to attain the unattainable. Here, take my fez and join in the festivities. It's yours, don't you need it? Not anymore. The very act of giving it to you has lifted me to a higher state of festivity. <laughs> Say thanks a lot. Someday you'll understand. It's a painfully bright red fez. There you are! Mr. Aljabar says that he's sorry, but he can't see you now. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Why would I want a fez? It's a magic good luck fez. But I work for Mr. Al-Jabbar. That's good luck enough. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Why would I want a fez? No woman can resist a man in a red fez. Really? You think so? Wait until Fatima sees me in this! Excuse me. What is it now? How's business? What? Excuse me, I'm afraid you caught me daydreaming about Fatima. Never mind. Excuse me. What is it now? Could you go see Mr. Al-Jabbar again? Well, you do know, Tratier. Perhaps I didn't explain things very well to my master. Wait here until I get back. It all looks pretty worthless.
the servants ducking into that house. I don't care who he knows. I don't want to see him, understand? Yes, sir. Aha! Dr. Jones, I suppose. What an unpleasant surprise. Shall I remove this peasant, master? That won't be necessary, Paul. Now be a good lad and alert the police while I entertain our guest. But... We'll talk about your punishment later. <laughs> well, well, well. I had no idea the famous Indiana Jones was such a fool, traveling so far and risking so much in pursuit of a mere myth. It's no myth, as you well know. No, let's talk it over. My house is your house, until the gendarmes arrive. Hey. Yes? You ever meet someone named Klaus Kerner? I don't discuss my associates with anyone, Doctor. Least of all, you. Can you help me find Atlantis? <laughs> I might as well help you find the moon. Don't you think you're in over your head? My friends and I, we help each other, so watch yourself. Nice house you have here. And nicer the sooner you leave it. This animal's seen a lot of miles. Stop! Leave my things alone! Stop! Leave my things alone! I don't think that'll work. Stop! Leave my things alone! So the stubborn American returns. Stop! Leave my things alone! It doesn't seem to close. I can't move it. Looks like a closet. It's a sliding door with a latch. You can't do this! May the wind scatter your bones where none shall find them. Hey. Ha! I want you to help me find Atlantis. Reveal my discovery after what you've done to me? What discovery? The one the Germans are exploring. They're out in the desert right now, digging up an outpost of the Lost Kingdom. Perhaps the Atlanteans were establishing a settlement, or maybe they were fleeing for their lives. Let me out, and we'll discuss it. Tell me more about this dig site. Not until you let me out. May the wind scatter your bones where none shall find them.
It's the stuff dreams are made of. May the sun addle your brains and cook your flesh. It's a cheap soapstone carving. May scorpions pluck out your eyeballs. May the sun addle your brains and cook your fl It's a flimsy bamboo stick. It's just a piece of bamboo. May scorpions pluck out your eyeballs. May the wind scatter your bones. Hey, this is no shirt, it's a map. I can't reach it. May you die without water, Jones. Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. That map won't do you any good. There are no names on it. May hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. It's just laundry. May the wind scatter your bones where none shall find them. Hey. Let me out. Strong latch on your closet door, I notice. Ha! I spit in your face! Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. May it looks like a map. May the sun addle your brain. Map or no map, you'll never find the dig site. Uh, put a sock in it. There's nothing to look at. Actually, I think it's more of a dromedary. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. You ever hear of a place called Atlantis? No, Effendi. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? Alas, Effendi, to describe that I need a map. Tell me about the foreigners again. I have seen them. Can you imagine? They're digging holes in the sand. Were they Nazis, do you think? They had pale faces like you, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... considerably to the south. And... a little to the west. Thanks for the information. Yipe! Hey! Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... to the south. And... a little to the west. Thanks for the information.
I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. How dare you stop me? I'm a duly sworn officer of the Foreign Legion, and I stop anyone I please. You're right, I forgot to apply for a visa. Then I won't shoot you this time. Now get back to the city. Hey, get back! Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... considerably to the east. Thanks for the information. I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. How dare you stop me? I'm a duly sworn officer of the Foreign Legion, and I stop anyone I please. What would it take to forget we ever met? Well now, that depends on what you have to offer. Here you go, my man. A rare and beautiful soapstone statue. Why, thank you. Go in peace. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... a little to the south. And... to the east. Thanks for the information. I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. Whoops, my mistake. Yes, and you're going to pay for it. Now get back to the city. It looks vast and uncrossable. I'm sorry, but your visa isn't valid for travel outside the city. How dare you stop me? 
I'm a duly sworn officer of the Foreign Legion, and I stop anyone I please. What would it take to forget we ever met? Well now, that depends on what you have to offer. Here you go, my man. A blackbird of obvious value. Why, thank you. Go in peace. Looks like I lost those guys.